Nerd Fighters, it's Friday! Woo! <laughs> You're so excited. So yeah, uh, I was checking out your videos of earlier this week, and they're awesome. Um, I agree with you guys on the majority of your points, especially the one about the slow people walking in front of you. I can see how that could be, like, uber frustrating, especially when they create that, like, wall of slow humans. But coming back to something that MC said um, in her video yesterday, um, she doesn't like rude people, but like, if you push someone who's walking slow, do you become rude, or is it them that's the rude person, or... Just one perpetual motion of rudeness. I think it's just a big bowl of rude. They should have lines on the sidewalk so that slow traffic goes on the right, and then the quicker traffic goes on the left. Sort of like, you know, the unwritten rule on escalators, how if you're just going to stay on the escalator, you stand to the right, and anyone who's actually going to walk up the stairs goes on the left. Yeah, people in Ottawa don't have that rule, though. Yeah, I've noticed. So, getting back on the topic of our pet peeves, I am really irked when I stop at a traffic light, and I look to the guy next to me, and he's, like, texting. Like, really? You can't put your phone down for a ten-minute voyage in your car? Like, what is so urgent that at every single red light you have to be like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I have to tell him this, oh my god, oh my god. Like, seriously, turn your phone off, or just ignore it for ten minutes until you get to your destination. Seriously. My pet peeve um, is actually one that I don't even know where I developed it, but I know that it got worse when I worked in a restaurant. And essentially my pet peeve is walking on freshly mopped floors because, I don't know, people just work really hard to clean them and I don't want to slip and die and there's just a whole bunch of reasons why I definitely don't walk on, uh, on freshly mopped floors. Yeah. Hmm. So we decided also that we're going to do something a little bit different. So we're not going to necessarily be doing nerd news. We're going to do, like, nerd fact, um, and then link to, like, a cool article that talks about it because nerd news could just take too long and it's hard to fit a whole story into, like, a little blurb. Cool? I'm cool with that. Cool. Are you guys cool with that? Well, they don't have a say because they can't you actually You guys are a quiet bunch. <laughs> awesome. Um, so you quiet people are going to listen to our nice fun fact. Alright, today's fun fact is brought to you by Science Daily, which suggests that watching Harry Potter films enhances creativity in children. Which is pretty cool. Essentially what the uh, study says is that researchers from Lancaster University um, did a bunch of studies on young people and discovered that when they watch Harry Potter, their imagination and their creativity, creativity is um, expanded and they're a lot more creative and just more awesome, in, in my opinion. And essentially what they did is they studied really young kids. So they studied like four to six year olds to discover how creative they would be after. So the moral of the story is, if you have young children, plant them in front of a movie and make them watch Harry Potter non-stop. It's like their a babysitter you don't have to pay. Yes. Sweet. Yeah.